And here we go with another episode of The Collector's Review. In this episode, we're going to be getting up close with every Friday the 13th Ultimate NECA action figure that they have come out with. I already did uh, up close on these before, but when I did the video, I had a lot of comments of people telling me what I did miss. But they are not looking at the date of that video, and at the time of that video, they did not come out with the last two action figures of the line at the time now i have these set up in the movie order when they came out and if you didn't check out the other video this video is fresh and new to you guys i'm gonna go through each one and go up close starting off with the san diego comic-con 2013 this is the friday the 13th this is the nes version and this is the one that is all wrapped it's all wrapped in plastic never opened it beautiful figure here but now they did come out with this one and then they did re-release it and this is the re-release from GameStop so you have this GameStop logo there for the re-release plays the music so this is the GameStop re-release and then they actually re-re-released it again and this one the sticker you can hardly see. Do you see there? It says open play, open to play. Um, the sticker isn't red like this one. And this is still a real one, but they just re-released it. I forgot where they did it through, but this one does not have the GameStop logo. So this is a real one. And I actually got this one from a store. So I think it might have been GameStop. So I'll put this one back in. And then we're going to go with the ultimate Friday the 13th part two. And this one is actually signed. And I got this one signed by Warrington Gillette. I think that's how you say his name. He was real cool. So if you can see his logo, I mean his name right there. looks beautiful how it's written with that. But this is a very slick action figure. And I think I did the unboxing of this one also. So very nice accessories with this one love the pamela head and everything like that and the fire very slick really nice meeting him then moving on to the friday the 13th the 3d now these ones are the originals that came out and i'm not i don't have the re-releases of these action figures uh to show you guys because they did re-release a lot of these action figures so some might have the cardboard tab so on the point of fake the, the fakes and the real love the cover of this one the 3d and very nice action figure like i said i love the jason action figures i did a lot of the unboxings on these ones this one they really knocked it out the park i did always say i'm a box guy and that is amazing then moving on final chapter friday the 13th now i don't know again i don't think this is the way they came out this is the way the movies came out and this first one isn't even really from the movie. That's from the video game. So Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Definitely did an unboxing on this and a lot of fake versus real. Very slick figure. And this is uh, the actually, no, the next figure. No, the, sorry, New Beginning is the one that I did an update on the fake versus real. Because I actually bought, I needed this one again. And this actually is a re-release right here. Same thing with this one. Um, you can tell by the date, 2019. But new beginning, dope figure. Very slick. Did unboxing on this one too. Then we have a new beginning, Friday the 13th. Now this is the re-release uh, the originals of these two did it had plastic tabs or no tab but no no they're plastic tabs the bootlegs have no tabs but love this figure right here and this is the one i just did a update on because the fake one that i well i didn't try ordering the fake one i tried ordering the real one and uh came and there was no NECA or Real Toys logo on the box anywhere. So it wasn't here. It wasn't here. And the box was way off. But um, yeah, check out that video if you guys didn't see that. Because if you guys get an action figure from NECA that does not have the NECA logo, then it is 100% a fake. 
Movie Gone, Jason Lives, Moving on to the Jason Lives. Love this figure too, the detail on his face. Very slick figure. It's all around with this one. I uh, did an unboxing on this one too. And loved getting up close with these figures right here. And I love how they used all the covers from the movies. Very slick, Jason Lives. So far I've met like five or six Jasons, so I'm trying to meet quite a bit of them. Then we have Then we have the Friday the 13th, the new blood. Jason is back. And this one I have to say is probably my favorite Jason action figure that they've come out with. The just the detail, all the articulation, the uh, but all the accessories with this one is just amazing. And when this came out, this flew. I had got two cases from NECA and they just flew. People were buying them left and right. I love the detail in this one. This one is probably uh, my favorite one out of all the Friday the 13th ones. Shoot it down in the comments. Tell me which one is your guys' favorite one. Who do you guys like the most? Then we have the Freddy vs. Jason. Then we have the Freddy vs. Jason action figure. And I actually do love this figure too because I actually like this movie. And when I did the unboxing, I didn't even notice that um, with this one, yeah, you see it right here. You see how the mask is all scratched up. When I originally opened mine, the mask was not scratched up and uh, did not have no claw marks. So I was very disappointed. And I didn't actually notice it until afterwards when I recorded the video and put the video online people actually pointed it out to me and uh, I didn't even notice when I did the unboxing that was my fault I've had that a couple times where NECA just isn't on top of they might miss some things so this is the Friday the 13th this is the action figure for the latest movie that was not in this line and this figure too I love this figure very slick figure all around love how beastie he looks had fun unboxing this one but like I said the my favorite one has to be the new blood one this one is a very slick one I love this movie though the this movie when I first seen this one this was a real slick movie so I was very very pleased with this action figure but all around here we go this is all of them and again, there's re-releases on some of these, so there might be some paint differences or the cardboard on the back, uh, the cardboard tab on the back. So make sure you guys know what you're getting. Check out the fake versus real videos and make sure you guys stay tuned. Until next time, this was another episode of Collector Review looking at every single Friday the 13th action figure. So we out. Peace.